What is up guys? It's Bryce Move here, aka Bryce Ruff on opposite day. And I'm here week five. Yeah, we're two and two is week five, and we got the Chicago Bears at home, who are also two and two. They had the number three ranked defense in the league, so it's gonna be a good game, hopefully. Um you see two incomplete passes to start the game. This is not what we want. We need to set the tempo here at home. I see oh they're, they're stepping up in the box. That's a bad idea. I got Blackman one-on-one. -on -one, and you gotta place that ball outside. Oh my god, look at him walking a tight rope. Oh my goodness, Justin Blackman is a I don't words won't describe his ability and we get a quick turnover by Jay Cutler he's known for giving the ball away and this is just unreal right now the way we're playing Ooh, never mind the way McGahee's getting eat I mean not McGahee Jones Drew's getting eaten up oh Jones Drew with the moves though I spoke too soon Maurice Jones Drew making plays and we're up 14 right now this is huge I mean as long as we don't, oh my gosh, that was almost a turnover. That would have been very costly. And that's something we don't want. As you see, Jones Drew making another play. And another thing I'm going to get on, I'm going to switch topics and shift gears right quick, um, is the whole Riley Cooper race situation. As you see me throw an interception, that is terrible. Um, yeah, so... I'm not going to get into what he said because what he said was derogatory enough and I understand, I understand every, everything that boiled up to that point and I understand he had alcohol in his system at the time but it's just something you don't do. I'm not going to sit here and speculate on what happened and who was around him and if he was egged on to do it or not. It's just when you're a professional, oh, as you see me throw another interception but when you're a professional football player or just any sport or anything in general, when you have people that are watching you, you cannot put yourself in a situation and you you got to have stronger morals. I thought, you know, I thought in America we were past that whole stage of just social, racial, racial discrimination like that. I mean, now I'm not just talking about African-American, Caucasian type thing I'm just talking about America as a whole and us us as people we should be past that point to where we're still using those type of words I mean I try and limit myself from using those words because and I'm and I mean I'm an African-American but I try and limit myself from using those words because to me it's pure ignorance and Riley Cooper made himself look very ignorant in that situation. I mean, that's that's the only thing I can say about it. I mean, he lost the trust of his team. I mean, and also he's going to have to cope with a large community of African Americans being royally pissed off at him for a long time as you see me float that ball over the top and some people might not never get over that i'm i'm not going to speculate on my own beliefs and what i think about riley cooper at this point i'm just gonna go off a neutral standpoint because this is youtube and i'm not gonna put myself out there but as a whole he really he really screwed his his family up his life up his standing in the community i mean he's he made he, he made us look terrible and i'm not and i don't mean us like as in blacks or white or hispanics like i said i'm talking about us as a whole he make he it's just a bad look on america and i'm gonna leave it at that because i'm not gonna go in depth over the whole situation because like i said i'm not in that situation where i know what happened but he just made it look really bad on himself. And on another note, as you see us driving down the field, um, the Chicago Bears really started to amount a comeback right here. And right before that, right before I threw those two interceptions, like I said, it was unreal. On all Madden playing that way, I don't never play that good on all Madden. That ain't something I could do. But we get a we get a clutch touchdown, and we're up a touchdown right here. We get a clutch field goal. So that was huge. And for us to be able to come out here, we're up a touchdown. I mean, I almost cost us the game. 
I made some I've made some really good passes in this game, but I've I almost cost us a game with two interceptions and one they scored for a touchdown. I even almost fumbled as you see me put that ball over the top. I've just been airing the ball out and not been afraid of the consequences. Because I mean, you're in a national football league, you gotta air it out. You gotta give them receivers a chance to make a play. Justin Blackman is down. Um You know, we're playing we're playing with a makeshift receiving core right now and we're making stuff happen. That's what I like to see. As you see me put another one in the pocket and he tiptoes out of bounds. These backup receivers look like superstars. Shorts the third has been making plays all year. And that should do it. Up ten points now with two minutes to go. They'll have they'll have to try and get two possessions, which they couldn't do. And you know, we're just gonna run we're just gonna we're gonna kill this clock and finish this game off. A good quality win at home. Like I said, two interceptions though. I mean, not bad. I mean, yes, it's it's pretty bad. As you see us try and go to the air, and we'll just punt this one off. This is their last opportunity. Devin Hester needs to get something right here. He breaks one tackle, and he's gonna get eaten up. And it feels good to get another win, you know. To to just off of a lose a loss to come back out and get a win that is huge for our confidence. And, guys, let me know your thoughts on the whole Riley Cooper situation and how do you feel about my season so far? Do you, do you think at this point we're 3-2? and two? Do you think we can make the playoffs as a 92 passer rating? You cut those interceptions out, and I'm having a 154 passer rating all day long. Over 300 yards for the second time in my career. That is a huge feat. Um, and, yeah, like I said, Justin Blackman's gone for three weeks. That's really going to hurt our receiving core, especially – I don't know who we play next, but it's going to hurt. And right now we're sitting in third in our division, and we have a bye week next week. So it's going to be pretty good for us. We're 3-2 and two going into the bye. And the, the stat that people haven't looked at that is probably the most critical is that we're 2-0 and oh in the division right now. I mean, you can't beat that. Being 2-0 and oh in the division, come on. That's that's huge. I mean, and guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Um, I'll see you later, YouTube.